Beamish Hall is a 12th century Grade II listed building, and for a building almost 1,000 years old, she can still turn heads. Dad used to play here as a child, and he figured out one day that it came up for sale, so he decided to pull a fast one in the family, came out, purchased it, and then told us all over dinner. That's how we ended up in the hotel. The building was semi-derelict when we first got the building. Um, to say that we had to walk through puddles when we were doing service and fix pigeon houses during the day before we did service on the leaving. So yeah, there's been a lot of work done. The thinking behind the academy was we spoke with Derwentside College and they were all about how to get young people into the workplace. We were all about how to get fresh blood, so the partnership seemed a natural. We've been in the industry now for a long time and you can get a little bit set in your ways, something always gets done the same way, but if you have somebody who comes along and challenges that, I think it's fantastic. It's good for the older people, they get to mentor some new people, but you get to learn some new tricks. We believe bringing new people along, mentoring them, asking them where they want to be, where they want to get in the careers and helping them get there. We believe in making them happy as well while they're here because happy people make happy customers. Uh, well, my name is Andrew Forrest. Uh, I've been I've recently been promoted to executive head chef at Beamish Hall Hotel. Started in the industry as chefing, uh, 21 year old, uh, fresh out of the army. Um, walked into an old friend of mine who went to school with, didn't know what I was going to do really. Uh, and he said, Why don't you come and work in a hotel in Scotland? I said, Well, why not? I'll have a go. Uh, knocked on the door and it was five star Dead Eagles Hotel. That's what started my apprenticeship. So, really, I've never looked back since, really. You work your way up through the system, you start as a coffee chef apprentice. You work you up to your party system and you just go for your promotions all the time. The more you put in, the more you're going to get out. At Beamish Hall, we do anything from a party of two to a party of 500. Literally, uh, we've got every room, every function room, facilities, outdoor catering facilities, uh, you name it, we can do it basically. The Stables restaurant uh, basically is the hub of the hotel, so we're going to have like a breakfast trade, we're going to do afternoon tea trade in there now. Uh, then we have a nice steady lunch in rolling on until the light bite menu in the afternoon and then finishing off with nice fine dining on the evening. The food we're offering at present I would say would be um, an upmarket brasserie type menu. We're going bistro brasserie style, fast, it's funky, it's sexy if you like, that style of cooking. Um, very with a modern twist on everything we're doing now. Have to get everybody involved and a big believer in the team, so right down from the, the comedy chefs if you like, input into a menu. So if you've got that little bit in, hopefully at the end of the day everybody loves that menu. The advice I'll give to anybody uh, working in any kitchen in the company, not just Beamish Hall, but because we are, if you like, a little bit special, 100% um, effort, the right positive mental attitude, uh, and give it your heart, give it your soul, and you will reap the benefits. Because we're a bunch of friendly people down here, believe you me, and we want to encourage young people through it throughout the industry. That's the whole point of the academy. Well, you've got to be slightly eccentric. Um, I would say you've got to be fun, playful, but you've got to be very passionate about what you do. You've got to have a real desire on making that customer experience the best it possibly can be. And we do, we care, we really care. We want our guests to come down and have the best possible experience when they're here.